So they had plenty. They had no problem at all. Yes. Well, Krona and Class are up next. Uh, Krona are on form at the moment. They're, they're flying. I mean, a lot of the teams, yeah. are, they're really, really yes. improving every single tournament we play. It'd be interesting to see them in these finals and, uh, and see how they do, uh, especially against Krona, who are such a They are a team. strong side. Uh, so, uh, speaking of which class are making the ban first? And the JCB, which gets 26% of all bans. It's fast, it's nimble, <laughs> it's no that. one likes it on the field and it just goes. Uh, the small style is up next, that has been uh, that has been taken out with the care wheels. I think that's the fastest one with the care wheels. Uh, the JC, uh, JCB, the um, Mass Mass Ferguson Talahanda, that has gone again. Ooh. Um, and the Puma, the Puma with the other care wheels. So they definitely don't want <laughs> they don't many, want many care wheel options. Know. Okay, Vickle picking. What are they going to go for? Uh, so class oh. have gone for the T6. It's interesting to see a smaller vehicle pick first. We often see the bigger vehicles go yeah, first. Right. And a uh, versus the Vultra. That's an interesting. Very similar machines. I think the Vultra has a bit of an edge on the T6. I think power-wise. Uh, the large Deutz Far has been uh, picked second by class. Uh, nice big tractor with the weight oh. on the front cross and then the last fence. So this is a this is a fairly evening, even set of pickings at the moment. Certainly is. Uh, and then a second uh, front loader tractor in the Massey Ferguson for class. And a second what? front loader in the... So very, very similar setups. I do like teams that go for a two loader option, only because it just gives you more choice later on in the, in the match. There are more options yeah, to the setup. Uh, right, power plays. be interesting to see if they use that weight in the front of the doys. Okay, both got slight edge. Slight edge, so higher top speed. It's interesting and how many times we see teams pick exactly the same uh, power plays. Although they are leaving. And it looks. Oh, ooh, okay. Chip tuning versus uh, transport company. So, That's chip tuning, faster acceleration. Now, those two power plays are often picked. When a rush. I know, uh, for a rush attempt. So, it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens at the start here. Okay. Here we are. And we're off. And Away they go. So, class are immediately heading right up the right hand side of the field. In fact, as our Krona. As our Krona, yeah. They're heading for those harvesters nice. first, potentially. Looks like the case has gone to Krona while the New Holland, uh, New Holland and John Deere have gone to class. Uh, and the ideal has gone to Krona. So, so, both teams. Two harvesters each. Harvesters no one's each. been blocked out in the harvesters. That's good. And we're assuming both teams have got bailers. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. So Krohn have got both the fastest bailer in the fence and the uh, Krohn bailer, which, of course, is great for resupply later in the game. It's a very powerful combination of having both of those uh, bailers. And it looks like class, class are using a slightly different technique. They are bailing close to the drop point as well as into the middle of the field. Both teams straight onto the field though, no hanging about, they're, they're yeah, both out no, there quick. No, no delay on either of them. Uh, is that class? Yes, class heading straight up the field as well. As Actually, they're heading straight up the field on their uh, lower one as well. So they, they seem to be on, a, on a, a, a strategy that is to do long cuts rather than the shorter ones. They're not going to get their harvesters caught up with each other. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. One team has got a baler streak, so somebody has got three balers. That must be... Is it Kroner that had two earlier? So yeah. maybe Kroner have got so three balers and Class only got one? So class, uh, that means Class only have the, the Coon baler here. Mind you, we've seen teams come through with one baler and still put it's up a massive score, so it's, it's not a deficit too it's badly. much more of um, a handicap to have only one harvester than yeah. it is for only one baler. So yeah, here we are, picking up the final baler and just and yeah, and just getting that baler streak. Good move. If it's I left there, why not grab it? Exactly. I don't. I don't think it's going to cause much problem uh, to uh, class. Let's see, and immediately picking up two bales onto that, and then going in and. Continuing on with that, that Coon Baylor. I do love the fact that we've said this at various tournaments now, 
is that the teams, you can see the teams that are well drilled, well practiced, they don't waste any time. This is a mistake. Oh, no, no, I don't think this, that is actually a mistake. For I was about to say this is a mistake from Chrome because Chrome don't have a transport company. But they do have the Chrome bailer. So I was, going, I was thinking, well, why are they unloading a bale from the back of it? Because it's not easy to pick up. They want to get four bales back. Three they want a three in the bottom and one on the That's another advantage of running two loaders. If you've got two loaders with front forks on, you can do that option with your balers. You can have the baler fully loaded and stick a bale on the front as well, and you can transport more back to your bale point. And it also helps for, uh, for Crone uh, in the latter stages as well. Absolutely. They are, they are just going to be able to, to keep the supply coming. So teams, like I say, they know what they're doing. They're stopping in the right places, opening the cover on that grain tank straight away. So when your harvesters get there, there's no mucking around. So just unload straight in, utilizing every bit of the ground, every bit of time very, very wisely. And it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference now, but in no. the dying seconds of a but game, these seconds gained have is, a huge it impact. Is, yeah, it's, it's, it's having all of those things in exactly the right place so that you're not having to, to run massively over when you desperately need something. And looks like... Are they going yes, for the first points are. on the board? Yes, they are. are going for the first points on the board. It can actually be, again, can be quite important when you're running this setup to have, to have though, that, that, those points on the board and ahead. So they go first point. bail to Crone. Now look to me at the bottom of the screen there, like Crone were doing the, trying to do the unload of one bale on top on of top the of other. another one, off the back of the bale. Which we've seen a couple of people try and do, and I've not, I'm not overly seen being done successfully no. so far. You normally look with an overhang, it doesn't quite go right. Yeah, yep. it doesn't, doesn't quite sit right in for somebody to actually stack it and get it on that uh, conveyor uh, well enough. Uh, so they're still running along with this Vultra and, uh, and, and just getting the bales in. How, where, how many bales Crone get in at this point is going to be crucial to them. Oh, uh, absolutely. When, both both teams still running both harvesters as well. No one's dropped off yet of the but, harvesters. But when it's going up against that, uh, against that transport company, that transport company gets 14 bales nicely stacked already. Potentially 15 if they stick one on the front on the forks. Exactly. It's a lot you can transport in one go. Whereas to, to match that up, that's four or five trips with, yeah. the, uh, with that chrome baler. And it is constant. You have and to be backwards and forwards the yeah. whole time unloading those bales. One and advantage I with that is it does mean when the other team run out of bales off that auto low bale trailer, if you're still bringing three, four bales at a time, you can continue to load bales when they're going back to get the next especially lot. So, yeah. if you've, especially if you've got two balers doing it. Especially Absolutely. you've got two balers going and, uh, and, and constantly bringing bales in and keeping stuff uh, keeping stuff supplied and the, the advantage uh, again it comes back into those dying stages is they've got two tractors Ooh. with front loaders so it's a clout within the side oh. the, didn't want to do that uh, two tractors Sorry. with front loaders then they need a front loader person but it means they can put that other one with the front loader on the fence quickly uh, quickly create bales get three bales in the time with that yep. other tractor on the crone bringing three bales in at the time if they've got the straw to do it they can easily just keep bales just coming, keep and coming and coming and coming. Now, as you, you may or may not know, this isn't like the standard game. You can't tab between vehicles. You have to get out and you have to run between vehicles. So that's why you often see them running across the fields, leaping to get to the next vehicle they need. Now, this is always something that I, I, I question doing this. I understand why it's useful to be immediately loading them, but you are slowed by the speed of whichever baler you're using. And that auto low bale trailer will pick up at a fair pace. Yeah. You're, you're almost better off at that point still harvesting or doing something else. Exactly. That's not a great get, use of your time. Get the straw on the ground and that way you still work. Having said that, they have an awful lot of straw on the ground. They do. Uh, with, with just over eight minutes to go, that actually is a really reasonable amount of straw they have on the ground. But the extra grain is useful. You know. Absolutely. If they can keep that baler going as well, the whole time, they, when they start unloading bales, and we're going to see that soon, yes. we're almost into that drone drop territory now. As long as they can keep that baler going and keep bales coming to the point, they're not going to have a problem. If they do, of course. And there we go, the power up is dropped. And unfortunately, both teams actually really out of place. Oh. And that's an interesting choice. Grain that boost. is a choice by class for the grain boost. So every bit of grain they drop is worth more. It means that multiplier will swing much quicker with how much they've got. And, it, uh, and they have, they now have 
two minutes to get as much grain into the silo as possible. Yeah. It's, yeah. We often see these games, when a team goes for the, um, the grain power-up, the scores are often much lower. Um, because if you go for the other one, the bail points increase almost immediately and we start seeing bales going in now. Both teams now are holding off and waiting for their grain to be dropped. Uh, and this is Crone heading in first with their grain drop. They have 28,514 litres in there. They're obviously confident that they've got enough. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's especially if, it, especially if class are harvesting that little bit longer and getting that little bit more in. But there is only a minute left to drop it. Is that? Class haven't got anywhere class? near as much in no. there. I think class seem to be reacting to this. They, 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 I don't know if they were hoping for the bail increase, but they certainly haven't got as much grain. And it's... They're <laughs> Cronin are waiting for class. To Just to see dropping. how much they've got. But they need, they need to be careful because there's only 30 seconds left on the clock to counter this with. Ooh. And there we go, class. Oh. They're going to stop their belt. Oh, not quite enough. But 2.9 to 1.1 multiplier. Is, yeah. Now we should see Krona sticking those Just bells in at a rate. That is to have almost the three times multiplier for the rest of this. Class are coming back with a harvest. Now, this is interesting. Class really need to drop this into the overloader to drop it in because if they don't, this counts less. Ah, oh, right. So, uh, this, is, this is one of the rules of it is that if you unload from uh, the loader or the trailer, it counts, I think it's one and a half times versus one times oh, right. straight out of the harvester. Now this is the point where Krona are, should be or are taking advantage of this multiplier. They need to get as many barrels on as they can because as soon as um, class start dropping oh, that right. wheat in, this multiplier is going to shift back again. And you can see class are holding off actually loading bales onto their thing at the moment. Uh, so here, Crone now have a second baler going. So this is the strategy we were talking about earlier. They've got lots of... And this is a mistake. And it's a slower unload as well. It's much slower out of yeah. the auger than it is out of the actual um, that is auger wagon. Uh, you can see it's not had the effect. It's not Nowhere near back. enough. Uh, and so, yeah, straight out the harvester. It's, it's a really... Bad way to unload your grain. Every single bale that goes in for Krona now is worth and way look at more than all the class of that bales. Excess, the uh, excess straw that Krona have with two balers. They and, need to keep these balers coming. Minutes. If they can keep these balers coming the whole time, they're going to be fine. The problem that I don't know, the class have got a few bales there. Double stacking them as well means you're going to get far more on there quicker. That's going to help. But I just don't know if they can I make up that deficit. I don't. I don't think they have the straw or the bales, and they've got and they've got their autoload trailer sitting there. So the, and they've only got one baler, haven't they? Yeah. So their one baler will they're be coming backwards and forwards, whereas Krona have got two, which will be overlapping yeah. every time they come back. back at, the, at the moment, it, it, this does not look good for class. I have to say, it's it's. They've been put in a position that, as you said earlier, has been very reactive. They're having yeah. to react to everything that Krohn's doing. And as a result, Krohn's just getting more bales, more grain. And just just really pulling out the lead at the moment. They do seem to have a bale right over to the right there. I don't know if that came off the belt or whether that's just been left there by one of the uh, bale trailers. This is something we've seen some teams do. The time taken to double stack we have asked the question, is it worth it, or is it worth just going one bale, one bale, one okay. bale? Because could you have loaded both those bales already if you'd done them individually? You know, it's a, yeah, it's a it's dilemma. A what do you pick? Who is this still harvesting? This is class still harvesting with three minutes on the clock. I don't know if they're hoping to get some more grain in, or they just haven't got enough straw on the field. But with only one baler running, yeah, there's unlimited amount they're going to be able to bale anyway. Yeah, they, they've kind of, they need a something for the third team member to do, which they, which is not something you see very often to do. Yeah. Krona have still got, they've got plenty of straw yeah, over the other side of the field. They've got plenty to bail. Yeah, they, they, have, they have plenty coming in. I, I think at this point, this is the first time we've seen a team get three bailers. Yes. And it affects the other teams quite so much. Absolutely. 
And the two, they've got two, the two strong bailers straight off the bat. We said that right at the start. Two very, very strong bailers. And, and class making sense. Coming back with more grain. I, I, it's not going to be enough. It's, it's not. not and, and, and they need to, that needs to go through the auger wagon in order to do it. And if they haven't, well, I don't think they've got anything oh, connected to the auger wagon. Going for a three stack. <laughs> <laughs> this is brave. It looks this a is, bit this unstable. Is we need to score as is many make points as we can. That is a little bit unstable. Yeah, again, it's. But yeah, no. The reason why they're not going through the auger wagon, of course, is there is nothing attached to the front of it, so it can't unload. He hasn't actually unloaded them. What's he's, going he's waiting to see if it to see if it, and it has. It's bought it. one point, one or point one. But again, yeah. with the the number of bales that Crone have, they are just <laughs> racking up the difference between this. So and, and class could not get the bales in quick enough. One minute thirty, roughly on the clock. Five six nine two twenty six. I think Krona played this perfectly from the start, grabbing yep. those three bailers, nice. getting the two strong bailers straight off the bat. Oh, oh. did he go for it? He did. He did, <laughs> and kept the bail and on kept the, the, front. Bail the front. As you said earlier, it's uh, without the. Without the bail multiplier, it is a lower overall score. Oh, absolutely, from yeah. yeah. If you go with the bail multiplier, yeah. then the grain multiplier, we often see much higher scores. But even, but even with Crone having sat between two and a half times to 2.9 times the multiplier, they're still. Well, they're, I think they're going to have a 700. Yeah. But compared to the first game that we saw where it was well over 800. For the winning team, that that is a bit of a drop. Mind you, we're down to 40 seconds to go, and I don't know how much straw there is left on Krona's side of the field. The yeah, they're seem bringing to three more bales, and actually, I, I I take back everything I've just said. They have enough time to get those last three bales in off that baler. Yeah, with 20 seconds to go, are they just going to swing around to put them in the bottom door just to get the points on the board? Good. They've got two balers coming in. I hate to say it, but it's a bit of a whitewash. They've absolutely yeah. stomped all over class on this one. Very, very strong game. Very strong game. I'm actually... Five uh, seconds. Can, <laughs> can Cone get over that 800? Wow. And no, they can't. But they very, have very scored score. a very decisive victory. They have. That is uh, an impressive... Very impressive. Very good score. They made it... Uh, nearly, nearly, I hate nearly. to say, they made it look easy. Nearly 500 points difference, I think yeah. it was. Something they like that. That's, that is just... Wow. And I, don't, I do wonder how much of that comes off the back of class not playing a game yesterday. You know? Quite possibly. Yeah. And, 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 uh, it's the whole thing of... I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised that that third bailer sat there for as long as it did. Yeah. And, and didn't get grabbed. Yeah. If there's, it, anything, if there's anything in those early stages that hasn't been grabbed by a team the other team will go and grab it absolutely uh, and then it gives you that then it gives you that that deficit 